Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the national presentation of our national colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. I would like to officially welcome you to the commencement exercise for the graduating class of John L. LaFleur Magnet High School, the class of 2014. Before we get to our program, I would just like to remind you that we greatly appreciate your support. This is a dignified occasion, and we like to do things in a first-class way. So as we go through the program, I just want to remind you not to make excessive calls, screaming and yelling. When it gets time to present our students, 
We would like to hear all of the students' name called because they have worked 12 to 13 years to get to this point, and we want you to be able to enjoy it as well. So I thank you in advance for helping make this a dignified occasion. I would like to introduce our platform guests. Following that, we'll have a word from our board commissioner, Ms. Robeson. Afterwards, we will follow the program as it is printed. When I call your name, will you please stand? Ms. Tracy Robeson, School Board Representative, District 4. Ms. Martha Peake, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Linda Carroll, Assistant Superintendent, K-12. Ms. Donish Simpson, Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Terrence Mixon, Executive Director, Student Support Service. Ms. Nancy Pierce, Supervisor of Public Relations. We have uh, feeder schools that feed into LaFleur High School, Ms. Karen Hills, the OCR Road Elementary Magnet School, Mr. Reginald Wilson, Booker Washington Middle School, Ms. Deborah Smith, Dunbar Magnet School, Ms. Linda Blassengame, Just for Developmental Laboratory, Ms. Mitra Turner, Holloway Elementary School. The administrative staff will stand all together, Ms. Bianca Phillips, Mr. Bobby Parrish, and Ms. Teresa Alexander. Our counseling staff, Ms. Marilyn Figures, Ms. Gabrielle Lambert, and Ms. Natasha Overstreet. The remainder of the faculty and staff of LaFleur High School that's in the audience, will you please stand? And I noticed we had a, another visitor with us today who spent three years with the graduating class, our former assistant principal, Mr. William Henderson. Will you stand? <laughs> I'd like to say a couple of things about the class. This class had about $3 million in scholarship offers. 2.9 million as a class of 219. And I'd like to say this, this is not official, but the past three years, LaFleur High School has had an 80% graduation rate. And we took a poll on the numbers for the upcoming year. This cohort is the 2010 cohort. And at this point, it's not official, but it looks like your group may have at least a 81% graduation rate. To all of our parents, family, and friends, we'd like to thank you for the support that you have given us throughout this year to help make this day possible. We look forward to having an outstanding program. Thank you for your attention. To the dais, to the family and friends are, that are here, and to most importantly, to the graduates of 2014. I just wanted to take some time to let the graduates know I am so very proud of you, especially now that I'm hearing that you all are at least at 80% and hopefully maybe at an 81% graduation rate, because that lets me know that you guys have been working really hard and studying really hard to get to this point. So I want to let you know that I'm proud of you, and as your theme says, success is a journey, not a destination, so this is only the beginning. Congratulations. Good morning. First, I would like to give thanks to God for allowing us to reach this point. I also thank everyone who is in attendance showing their ample amounts of love and support. It takes time to be successful. Time is all it takes. These past four years have been a challenge that seemed to never end. Though there were obstacles, the good times definitely outshined the bad. I would not have wanted 
to spend these years anywhere, anywhere else with anyone else. The class of 2014. The class of 2014 is a close-knit and ambitious group. The teachers, faculty, and administrators at the floor deserve much praise due to the fact that they helped ensure our soldier in high school will be great while still providing us with a challenging education and most importantly, instilling us with values that we will carry forever. Even though they were hard on us, it was only because they knew our true worth and potential. Our teachers are the best. They're loving, but also very demanding. Teachers such as Mr. Logan, Lovett, and Ms. D. Williams will show their personality and make you love them. And then they will give you homework every night and test the major which you never took their class. Along with the academic element of the floor, we also had various events for social interaction. Ms. McDade will lead activities such as talent shows and pet rallies. We also had events such as poetry nights, plays, and character parties. Though it all started at Camp Rattler, we have grown, matured, and set goals that we will strive to attain. From a personal perspective, I would like to give thanks to my family for supporting me these 17 years and guiding me towards a future that you and I will be proud of. To my siblings, thank you for protecting me, teaching me, and loving me for who I am. To my father, thank you for being there for me and the things you do, and I love you. And to the person who's the reason that I'm standing here today, my favorite person and my absolute heart, thank you for everything that you have done. And I appreciate you so much. And without you, I would not be here. To my mother, thank you, and I love you. You started me young, teaching me how to read and reading to me, and you embraced my love for school and reading. You would spend hours at a time at the library with me just to make sure that I had everything together. You did everything that I needed and wanted while still raising four other children, and you made sure that we had everything. You put us before everything, including yourself. My favorite memory from with you is when I went to magnet school, you would walk with me because I was at a new school and I was afraid to walk by myself. You did this for about two weeks and everyone kept claiming that you were disabling me, but they were wrong because they only made me stronger because I knew even if I was walking alone, if I wanted you to, you would walk with me. As I digress to my class, Never let anyone downplay your success. There is only one success, to be able to spend your life the way that you want to. So whether you are going to college, enrolling in the Army, get, going to the boat, or just getting a job, be content with your decision, because the only person that can live your life is you. Class of 2014, I leave you with this scripture from Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I love you all. Enjoy life with no regrets. No regrets. Be blessed and be the best you can be. Despite what anyone says, we made it. Let's continue to be great. Good morning. First, I would like to give an honor to God for allowing me to be where I am today. To the administrators, teachers, families, friends, guests, and most importantly, to my fellow classmates of John L. LaFleur High School's class of 2014, 
I welcome you all here today and thank you for coming to celebrate our commencement. Four years prior to today, we entered the hallways of John L. LaFleur and it quickly became our second home. The other classes before us made it very clear that they had high expectations for us because they knew that we were the ones, the ones that would make a difference, not only at LaFleur, but in the world. No matter what experiences we have had inside of the hallways of LaFleur, we must admit that at some point it made us all a family. Beginning with the first pep rally, when the class of 2011 sprayed us all with silly string and splashed us with water balloons, and ending with us all bunting in the gym, playing Duck Duck Goose and Simon Says. We also bunted in more serious arenas, National Honor Society inductions, service organizations, and school clubs. In my opinion, we all owe a sincere thanks to both our families and to LaFleur's faculty and staff. Personally, I would like to give an extended appreciation to Mr. Lovey and Ms. McCovery for serving as my second parents. They both made sure that I kept a good head over my shoulders and stayed focused. Consequently, I matured while at school and my mother did not have to worry. For that, I thank you both. <laughs> to my mother, grandmother, and immediate family, I send an indescribable thank you for properly raising me and supporting me. On those long nights of studying, when I wanted to go to sleep, you all were there to make sure that I stayed focused. Most people know that I was raised up in a single parent home. However, my grandmother stepped in and my mother stepped up to make this moment possible for me. You are showing me what life is really about, hard work and dedication will carry me throughout my existence, and I love you all for that. To my graduating class, I want to say that our parents and families have placed high expectations upon our shoulders. As we launch into success, let us not forget the values and morals in which they have shared with us. Although we have awaited today's arrival for so long, it is not our destination. It is simply a stop along the journey. We have spent these past four years in denial of the fact that we have been followers. We chose to dress a certain way because it was what everyone else was doing. We chose to wear our hair a particular way because everyone else would think it was cute. And we even chose to speak differently to attract certain people. However, on today, we become independent. Today signifies us becoming leaders. It signifies us making our own decisions, and most importantly, it signifies us growing. I challenge you all to want to become the leaders that we were born to be, and take responsibility for the expectations it trusted in us. Going forth, we must recognize that we have dreams to turn into reality. Do not allow temptation, peer pressure, or other distractions to lead you to your own destruction. Instead, be true to yourself and do not expect anything to be handed to you. May people recognize your importance by earning everything that you want in life. Eli Stevenson advises, when you leave here, don't forget why you came. Remember that on today, we came to start a new beginning. Does that mean that we forget all of our memories? No. We shall always remember the days when we were in white shirts and dirty books when we ran away from Mr. Henderson in the hallways, when we created our own lingo and all the students at the other schools remain unaware of our utterances, and when we walked into our last junior pep rally and tore down the class of 2013's posters to denote that our time was finally here. No one shall ever take these times away from us. However, we must create new memories, meet new people, and discover new things. I conclude by saying this, yes, John L. LaFleur shall always remember the class of 2014, but who else will remember you? Classmates, decide to congregate with those whom you can impact the most, with those who can reciprocate the favor. Go out and make a difference. Be bold, be kind, be you, be successful. Thank you. Good morning, family, friends, 
administrators, teachers, guests, and LaFleur's graduating class of 2014. First, I would like to give honor to God. Without him, I wouldn't be able to stand before you all today. Without a doubt, this is the hardest yet most thrilling task that I have ever had to complete. <laughs> Classmates, do, do you remember when, as new seniors, we were filled with the anticipation of getting into those green shirts, which enthralled our minds and our bodies? After that, we received the workload and began to wish we were freshmen again. We were hyped to get into the polo styles, only to receive a letter stating that we were required to wear 100 green button downs. At first, the senior class did not favor the change, but we soon realized that those button downs weren't so bad. The shirt symbolized a new beginning along with style and elegance for seniors at LaFleur. I believe we were the best senior class to adapt to this type of change. Fellow classmates, we will continue to learn new things as well as adapt to change throughout our lives. Proverbs 12.1 states that whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but whoever hates correction is brutish. There have been many times when we as students thought we were correct about everything. Fortunately, the discipline of our teachers reminded us of the knowledge still to be learned. As a result, we now understand that revision is a part of life. Teachers, you all have pushed us to more challenging real life situations and provided us with superior knowledge. Not only did we learn the structure of the body in Ms. Martin's anatomy class, but we also learned beneficial information about college. Ms. Massey's encouraging words, and believe it or not, And believe it or not, her, her sarcasm are also to be acknowledged for us having trouble with essays, meant receiving inspirational notes in her fancy yet interesting handwriting. Moreover, I have never encountered a teacher with such lively character until meeting Ms. Smitherman. She has the awe-inspiring ability to be extremely entertaining and creative while keeping a smile on anyone's face. At the same time, I would not forget the mother of chemistry, Mrs. Hall. Her way of teaching would surely prepare anyone for college. My transition to high school was shaky and I had flaws that needed correcting. Fortunately, I always had my supportive mom there to nurture my imperfections. Her guidance taught me to never give up and to have faith. This experience as a high school student has taught me an array of things. I know there is more to learn. However, the steadfastness that I learned from my mom assured me that I am ready for anything that life may bring. My train Class of 2014, we should know that as young adults, we are accountable for those things in which we take part. Why do you have an anchor on your car window? I once asked the classmate. She told me that it meant that it represented the belief that nothing could ever weigh her down. Her response that day continues to stick with me, and I'd like for you all to remember the anchor metaphor. Whether you are entering college, learning a trade, or going straight into the workplace, Undoubtedly, there will be obstacles to success, but we will overcome those challenges. Some tasks will not interest you, but will be required of you as a means of acquiring more appealing things. Take the diligence of this commencement ceremony, for example. As, a motiva as motivated young adults, we must be willing to withstand any storm in our effort to enjoy the rewards. Maya Angelou once said, all great achievements require time. Therefore, I implore you to anchor yourselves to your dreams, put in the time to achieve, succeed, and be great. LaFleur's class of 2014, is it safe to say, we finally made it. Thank you.
Mr. Daly, today we have 220 seniors who have met the requirements mandated by the State Department of Education as well as the Mobile County Public School System for their designated diplomas. I present to you the class of 2014. Thelma Robertson. Kirsten Williams. Michaela Prince. Maya Weems. Latoya Dixon. Vanity Jones. Kenshante Gamble Busby. Alexis Rogers. Bria Hastings. Lysidra Lewis Upshaw. Naira Dean. Ashlyn Black. Jasmine Caver. Haley Cheatham. Nadia Eldridge. Ashley Jarvis. Whitney Petaway. Darian Reed. Deja Richardson. Brandon Runderson. Deja Scover. Casey Scruggs. India Stubbs. To Michael Taylor. Kiara Washington. Andriana Watson. Trenicia Watts. Brianna Brown. Tanisha Carl. Tori Givants. Madiria Harris. Jaquela Penn. Georgia Petway. Demarcus Allen. Destiny Armstrong. Charlesia Archery. Saray Baker Spelton. Devonna Banks. Timberly Banks. Tyree Bell. Kayla Billups. Deanna Blackman. Dexter Bradley. Tatiana Broadhead. Darius Brown. Kayla Brown. Orlando Brown. Quintarius Burden. Jared Burley. Christine Burrell. Brandon Calhoun. 
Alicia Carroll. Sheeta Carson. Janisha Kerstoffen. Paris Kerstoffen. Brianna Carter. Keith Lynn Carter. Michaela Carter. Octavia Carter. Alexis Chestnut. Nedra Clark. Alexander Coleman. Kendall Cox Jr. Carl Craig. Sandrell Crom. Shavaris Davis. Jasmine Davis. Tashandra Davis. Kiara Dickinson Parrish. India Dubose. Daniel Dunklin. Samaya Easley. Triendez Eli. Edward English. Angel Evans. Clyde Ferguson. Shamira Fincher. Jamisica Fisher. Brianna Fowler. Alexander Franklin II. Jakarta Fryson Small. Alexis Fry. Sandra Gardner. Tremisha Gibson. Deja Gildersleeve. Shakela Graves. Rayshawn Grayson. Tamaya Grimes. Demetrius Hall Blackman. Amber Harris. Brittany Harris. Devontae Hayes. Emesia Hayes. Asia Henderson. Cartavia Henderson. Robert Henderson. Don Hicks. Brandon Hill. Treshawn Hill. Precious Hines. Melvin Holcomb. 
Ariel Hollins. Brooke Howard. Ryan Howard. Terrence House Jr. Bradley Huey. Dominique Hughes. Treshawn Hughes. Barbara Hunt. Justin Hurd. Trent Irby. April Jackson. Trey Jackson. Shina Jenkins. Deborah Johnson. Kirsten Johnson. Tyranny Johnson. James Jones. Maya Jones, Trinity Jones Hollins, Roy Keaton, Robert Kennedy, Antoinette King. Jasmine Kirk. Kiara Kirksey. Alonzo Lacey. Jerice Lake. Bria Lang. Corey Lee. Joshua Lewis. Jakara Lindsay. Jason Mabry Jr. Alan Mack. Javante Mack. Antonetta Marzet. Darius Marshall. Aaron Martin Jr. Walter Massey Jr. Samaya Matthews, Jada McAfee, Allison McBride, Michael McCaskill, Almatine McIntosh, Marquise Milton. Christian Mitchell. Robert Molette. Treyon Montgomery. Brittany Moore. India Moore, 
Gerald Morris. Chance Morton. Chayla Morton. Daytoni Mosley Fletcher. Lederick Moy. Carnesha Nelson. Anthony Nettles. Nicolette Orr. Mariah Payne. Andrew Purdue. Kanisha Peters. Brandon Petit. Kelton Petway. Andres Pollard. Jarrell Portis. Jarlene Portis. Jarisma Pritchett. Jerry Pritchett. Frederick Reed. John Reed. Caleb Rembert. Justin Rembert. Maya Rencher. Telvin Roberts. Tyree Robinson. Willie Robinson. Venetia Rudolph. Megan Scott. Tyler Simmons. Aaliyah Solomon. LaFrederick Stallworth. Michael Steele. Brianna Steen. Devin Swan. Jamie Taylor. Alexander Thomas. Michaela Tillman. Ladeja Timmons. Taylor Trevillion. Philip Turk. Destiny Turner. Carrie Vallier. Alexis Walker. Jalen Walker. Kyra Ward. Eric Warren. Devon Washington. Raven Washington. Torin Washington. Rosetta Watkins. 
Tyleen Watson. Justin Wiggum. Cantonio White. Ladarius White. Clarence Wiggins. Devontae Williams. Erica Williams. Severia Williams. Shantavia Williams. Joshua Williams the third. Olivia Wilson. Sharita Lachey Yost. As, well, we're almost there. Just, just a little bit longer. Hold up. Hold up. As principal of John L. LaFleur Magnet High School, I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by Mobile County Public Schools and the state of Alabama. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2014 to be graduates of John L. LaFleur Magnet High School.